Good morning. In this video I would like to show you how to fix a common problems, very known problems because guys are coming to us. What to do yeah, because my UNL lost IP address or it's it, it not showing, it not responding and how to reset IP addresses for your unit, Unified Networking Club uh, virtual machines. So I have installed it <clears throat> already. It's working actually, but I will show you steps uh, how to reset a password. That's, uh, let's say, I would like to see sometimes even even something is crashed and, it's, uh, and it lost. It usually happens with the DHCP addresses. When you assign <coughs> a static IP address, usually everything is fine. So if you don't see the IP address here, no worries. No worries. You can set up it. Yeah, it's just to be sure that you did the good uh, right settings here. In my case, I'm connecting into my VMNet, yeah, uh, which is my homeland. Yeah, it's but in some laptop cases, it can be not adapter yet. Yeah, and then I can say that not adapter will be okay. Let's let's do that. Yeah, it's I'm changing to my the first adapter will be not in here. Yeah, it's but here is assigned to wrong static IP address, and I'm going to reboot my machine now. Uh, restart guest, and you will see that I will face a problems because I changed it, uh, my. Uh, management network adapter. So VM machine is booted, but actually this IP address will not respond. So we need to change yeah, or reset this IP. What I'm doing, and this will will happen from this VMware VMware machine screen. So, so and uh, I'm going to log in, which is root and. Uh, Password is UNL, and we will try to ping something that definitely will not work. 72.25.1.1, it doesn't work. Well, good, good. And in this case, look at this command now. rm-f, which is force, slash options, ova, ovf, dot configure it. This command removing your present IP settings for your UNL machine, and once once it's done, okay, I'm saying to reboot my machine. Let's wait. We rebooted, but still IP address is visible from previews. And look this, I'm going to root, and the password is UNL. And look at this, it, it's jumped again to Unified Networking Club setup. And we are going to set up as like a fresh from scratch machine. No worries, inside of your UNL machine, all your labs and everything what you did will be there. So I'm going to UNL, which is password. I'm going to UNL, which is password, leaving, leaving. I'm assigning the static IP address because I changed here to the not adapter, as you remember. That's a NAT adapter. That's mean I would like to assign the IP address from my NAT network, which is 192.168.255.0. Let's do it. And I'm marking a static, saying OK. So it's a market with the arrows and then with a space bar. OK. And let's do 192.168.255. And probably it could be 20, for example. Okay, 255.255.255.0, which is my net mask here, 24, and the gateway in some video, in, in a video about VMware workstation installation, I shown you it's a which should be a gateway for NAT adapter. For NAT adapter, it is two. Don't mess it with your host machine. Host machine is like a simple, simple PC and has IP address, which is one in VMware default installation and not adapter has IP address dot two. So I'm going to assign 192.168.255.2.2 is my gateway. The same for not adapter is the first DNS 192.168.255.2 and the second DNS could be a Google. Okay, I'm not going to assign NTP. Okay. And machine is going to reboot. That's how you can reset your IP address. And while it's boot, I'm going to pause. And you can see now it's booted and the IP address is 192.255.20. 
No worries. Sometimes an ESXi machine, sometimes this IP address won't, won't, I don't know, it's a, what a reason, it's some delay, maybe a responding of the console, but won't to show you IP address. No worries. If you assign it the static IP address, then going to root UNL to log in your machine, you can use if config pnet zero, which is your management interface. And if I'm going in, you can see assign it IP address, which is, on, which is about. Well, let's test because we changed this IP address and it will be 192.168.255.20. I'm going in and you can see I'm into the UNL. Admin and the UNL. Okay, that's how you can change and set up your addresses yeah, it's if you are moving somewhere or, or changing your network. Yeah, but my recommendation is to use a static IP addresses and that's how you can manage and set up from fresh again. I hope it was informative for you and thank you for viewing.